What is up heroes, it's Midnight Zero and welcome back to Let's Play Silent Hill Blind. In the last episode we started our exploration of the school. As you can see we made our way onto the second floor and I was saying we're probably going to be heading into the library, the library reserve, the chemistry lab, the lab equipment room, some of these big rooms uh, that are going to be you know, key elements to some of the puzzles we're going to have to solve. I do want to say I recorded the previous episode without having seen the comments from the second episode and to my... Uh, to definitely to my benefit, there was a comment, thank you again to Virgil's Gaming, uh, for it, that told me that I can actually kill these enemies. Uh, there's a stomping mechanic, so that if I hit X after they're grounded, they won't come back, which would be such a relief. So that's really good to know. Something else worth noting is I actually wasn't able to save properly after the last episode, so I had to rerun through this or the last like 15 minutes of last episode, but I'm more or less at the same spot. I probably have a few more bullets and maybe an extra health drink because I didn't run into as many of the, uh, I don't know, zombies? <laughs> Is that the proper term for them as I did in the last episode? But it shouldn't make too big of a difference. So with that being said, um, yeah, let's, let's head over to the library, right? I wanna start by trying this door. Oh, to my surprise, it worked. Will the library door open? It will. Okay, we're in danger. I think they'll probably come find me, right? So I can play it patient and just wait for them to approach me a little bit and give myself plenty of space to shoot them down, right? Or are they like stuck on some object off in the distance? There's definitely something in here. The question is where? It's probably hiding right around that bookshelf. Is it in that corner? No. Oh, it's totally right around the corner. Oh, is it another one of those things? Huh? What is making that noise? It sounded like the... Where is it? is it? Did it already go away? I didn't even see what it was. But it sounded like one of those sort of small squeaky things that we ran into in um, that one corridor on the first floor. I guess regardless, I mean, we found a first aid kit, so that's nice. Is there anything else of use in the library? No useful books. Well, that answers that question. How about on this shelf? No useful books. Is there going to be a useful book? That's more so what I'm curious about. No special book here. Okay, at least different text. No special book here. Anything on the back side of this shelf? Is it a special book like here? I wonder how you know specific I have to be with where I'm aiming Harry here. I was also told that if I hold L2, the game will kind of reorient the camera behind Harry to, I guess, some success, it seems. Maybe not the most reliable thing, but definitely better than nothing. So like right here, I could try to reorient the camera so I can actually see what I'm walking into. What does this say? Can I read this? Chicago news? Huh? What's going on in Chicago? That's, that's where I'm from. All right, then I guess we'll head over to the library reserve, I think is the next place we need to go. Yeah, the library reserve. Can we go? We can. Are we in danger? Oh, we are. I'm gonna practice. Come on, zombies. Are you walking towards me or what? There you are. Oh, but it doesn't seem to notice me really? Oh, no it does. I just underestimated how close we're you know, far it was. Can I stomp? Oh, so it really does keep them down for the count. The music goes away and everything. That's really good to know. What, what health am I at? Okay, we're at a slightly below stable orange. <laughs> not ideal, but certainly not awful. No useful books. How big is this library reserve? It's not too big of a building or room. <laughs> Any special books on this shelf? No need to read any of these books. 
it's so funny like the response is changing no special books here nothing useful here no need to read anything here there will be one shelf where there is a special book that is useful that i need to read harry can i can i see all right thank you no special books here probably not here as well how about in in this corner anything of interest no useful books no need to read any of these books <laughs> Well, all right then. It seems there's not a whole lot here. I get the feeling though that I'm missing something. I feel like because the camera looks up, you know, or like it kind of shows off a little bit of the ceiling, there's gotta be a way to get up there. Can I like climb that? No. See what I mean? There's like, can I climb this ladder? Stepping, no, it's not a ladder, you know, it's a step stool, but well, it doesn't seem like there's anything. Can I do something with the, the radiator? The camera is moving around. Is that something I need to be paying attention to? I guess, I guess we'll head out, right? And we'll be in this little hallway. There'll probably be a couple of enemies waiting for us, and then we'll, we'll try and take them down pretty quickly and then go into the chemistry lab. Before I head out there, though, let's see if I need to reload my gun. Um, we have... We're, we're all good with stock 15. So we should be good. Anything in the garbage can? No? Okay, still no leftovers. It's unlocked. Oh, so it would have been locked had we tried to get in here before. That's good to know. Really? Hmm. I'm ready, game. I'm ready. <laughs> I expected enemies out here. I'm not buying that there are no enemies out here. <laughs> oh, I guess there really are no enemies. Well, then, shall we take a look at the chemistry lab? This was where we're probably going, this is like the alchemy room or whatever. So, I'm thinking we'll find something of use in here. It's awfully quiet. Too quiet. Nothing useful on the shelf. Are the different cabinets going to be different things? I mean, I guess I'll play it safe, right? What about this one? These are definitely <laughs> chemistry lab counters. What? Is, is that a hand? Oh my goodness. It's all making sense. What was that phrase again? I'm, I'm gonna look it up on my phone again, right? Gold in an old man's palm, the future hidden in his fist. Exchange for sage's water. Are we gonna find the golden sun right now, guys? Is that what we're about to find? Statue of an old man's hand. Okay, statue, at least it's not an actual hand. The fist shut tight as if never to let go. Wait, can we not do anything with it? Can I can I take it? Do I have to like cut it or something? Can I not just take the whole thing? I doubt this is the case. This would be more of like a I don't know, combat solution to what I'm feeling Silent Hill would have more as like a, a cerebral puzzle. Alright, well, and darn, I went to the map again. So, we've identified the hand, we've at least solved that part of the riddle for now. And the question is, how do we get the gold out? Is this some ammo back here? It is. So we're doing pretty well on ammo. Can I, can I shoot the, the statue? It doesn't look like it. he's not pointing at it. Anything back here? No? Okay, so so we've identified the piano. We've identified the the hand, the statue, right? The gold. But what do we do with it, right? Hmm. And I don't know if we have much of an indicator as to what we really need to do in order to get it out, right? 
Maybe this is an indication of something? You can always check the lab equipment, right? Anything over here? That's all I can think of, is that we might find something in the lab equipment room that would enable us to get out of his hand. So, let's go take a look there. This is where we're going to find an enemy. Oh my! What is that sound for? Distilled water. No reason to take it. I could go for some distilled water right now. What in the world? There's a chemical. Take it. What is this sound, guys? It sounds like... Some sort of distorted, like, heartbeat and everything. Is there an enemy in here? Is there something hunting me down that I'm just not aware of right now? Why can't we take the distilled water yet? I mean, at, like, the very worst, we know the distilled water is here. I feel like I should be able to take it, but I guess not. Is there something down here that we can use? No. This room is very unsettling. <laughs> Why you gotta be like that game? Why you gotta be like that? Glucose, no reason to take it. Oh, so we know that that's there at least. Anything here? Nothing unusual. How about in this shelf? Nothing useful on the shelf. Okay, so at least we know that in the lab equipment room... Oh, and now there's an enemy in here. Interesting, so that must have triggered something. Wow, that music took a long time to fade away. Can I use the chemical on it, or...? I feel like that's something I've got to do, right? Do I need to equip it? Let's see if that's, like, even an option. The label reads, Concentrated Hydrochloric Acid, found in lab equipment room. So that's definitely gonna burn through anything. Okay, so we dissolve the statues, or the hand statue, around the gold. Can we, can we take the gold now? There's a gold medallion. Okay, just the melted remains of a statue of a hand, nothing to worry about. So, I'd imagine we need to find whatever the distilled water is. I feel like we're going to need to come back up to get the distilled water for whatever's in the boiler room. Just a hunch, but that's, that's kind of what I'm thinking at the moment. So, and I like that they're, they're marking on the map the various items of interest, right? So we've already have the gold medallion, the piano is going to have whatever the silver thing is. Um, I think what we should do now is probably head back downstairs and save. I think that's a good thing to do. We've explored the second floor. I haven't properly saved yet, even after exploring the, you know, what we did in the end of the last episode twice. I think we should head downstairs and save. And maybe kind of rethink the plan. Oh, hello there. Okay. We'll stomp you. There's probably another one in here. I wonder, the real question is going to be, will it come back? Is, you know, is there just going to be one the next time I'm there, or will there be two? So let's see here. We're down here. Do I want to run through the courtyard or this hallway? The courtyard will actually have a decent chance of, you know, evading whatever I'm trying to, to avoid. So... I, I think I like that option a little bit better. I wonder if the sound of running makes it more likely that I'll get caught. Okay. Can I stomp? That thing is coming in hot. Oh, it slowed down a little bit when I shot it too. That's good to know just for like managing these things in the future. The stomp reminds me of Resident Evil. That's something I'm only used to from that series. Which, by the way, guys, because I know plenty of you that are watching this are probably also interested in the Resident Evil series. And, you know, whether or not I plan on playing that at some point. I have only played 5 and 6. <laughs> I've only played Resident Evil's 5 and 6. Um... They're, they're not great games. I really didn't like Resident Evil 6 that much, but they're co-op, and I played them with my little brother, and we both really, really enjoyed messing around with that, goofing around with the game. Um, I actually liked Resident Evil 5 a decent amount. 
Um, I've beaten it twice at this point. <laughs> and yeah, did all the stories in Resident Evil 6. I definitely want to go through that series from start to finish, though, with the Resident Evil you know, HD remake, uh, or Resident Evil remake, and then, of course, you know, the RE2 remake that was more recent. Okay, so now that we've done that, I think the next question is, how do we get to the right side of, well, this area? Have I tried going in the hall? I don't think I have. Let's do that, right? So let's go through this courtyard and then turn right and see if we can even explore this, this right half. Because it looks like I haven't even marked that part of the map. Okay, so that's locked. So it, at least, it should at least show that it's locked on the map. Maybe that was something I did towards the end of last episode that just didn't get <laughs> saved. All right, let's run and gun. Oh, let me go for the dive, but just missed my feet. Oh man, it sounds like they're still here. Where are they? No, they're not. That is really comforting that I can actually take out a lot of these enemies and not have to rerun past them over and over and over. Let's see if this door works. It's locked, okay. How about this one? The lock is jammed, the door can't be opened. Okay, so that's my cue that it's got to be from the other side. And I thought I went through this one before. Was that something that didn't get saved? It must have been. It's the, it's the, this thing. Can I shoot this? Doesn't look like it. Looks like it's just there to kind of creep me out. Okay. Well, I guess we'll take these, these handgun bullets and move on. So now we'll head up upstairs. Wow, it is really nice to know that once killed, these things don't come back. At least for a short period of time. Maybe switching floors will bring them back. Maybe not. Now, I can go... I think what I'm going to want to do... Which way am I going to want to do this is the real question. I think I'll take the, the top route. This also means I probably haven't explored the, the roof technically on this save file. Okay, how many are we dealing with? Two? Yeah. Okay. That's fine. So we'll get a good stomp in. Oh, darn it. Come on. I got one shot in, so I was like, I think I'm alright, but no. Still managed to make its way to me. And I think we should reload. Health, not a super stable orange, but manageable. Uh, how much ammo do we have just to make sure I'm not going through it like crazy? Okay, we still got 160 bullets. I think we're doing just fine. So we can go here. Honestly, probably take down whatever zombies are in here. It's probably only like one or two. We'll let you get a little closer. Two, three. Now the question is, is there a second one? What was... Th <laughs> that made me jump. <laughs> I think part of it is just because I can't see very well. Is there a third thing? Oh no, it's probably just that tiny thing that's causing that. What is that sound? What is the trigger for that soundtrack in the background? Okay, so we can only go down here. So let's head down to the first floor. Okay. That is thing is like right there to greet us as soon as we get down here. And it sounds like it's the only one in, in the area. Or at least the only one that's noticed us. So we'll briefly explore the end of this hallway to make sure we don't miss anything hidden in like the corner. But otherwise, what I'm going to want to do is... Okay, yeah, I figured it wouldn't be the only one in this hallway. But we can unlock this door, which is going to be really important for just maintaining access to the infirmary, of course, so we can save regularly, so we don't lose any of our progress. And I wish... Well, it's... I guess if I really took the time to look at the file, it would tell me, you know, the time and all that stuff. That would allow me to differentiate between the files. But I wish they were kind of, like, numbered to make it a little bit easier. Okay. So I'm not surprised that there are more than one of these guys in the hallway. And I 
think just for the, the convenience of being able to walk through these hallways without having to, I don't know, constantly try to find, like, alternate routes and everything. Oh, what? I thought it didn't even notice me. It was, like, walking to the side. I don't know if you guys saw that. I didn't think it was going to, like, turn and find me. This. What is this reminding me? remind me of? That, that picture. It reminds me of something. Some picture I've seen in some, like, RPG Maker horror game. Oh. He's panting. He's probably low on health. Yep. I appreciate that audio cue. Because it's not like there's a visible health bar or anything like that. Can we see that? Nope. Just more Chicago news. Okay. Anything else of interest here? Anything on the desks? No. I'm surprised that a lot of these classrooms don't actually have a whole lot. Why is cut spelled out? Of all words to be spelled out. Let's take a look at the map. We can head over to the next classroom, and then the hall, and then after that, we've pretty much explored most things, um, aside from the roof and then the boiler room. So I think that the boiler would be our next, next destination. It's probably going to be a zombie in here. A zombie or two. We'll wait for it to get close to us. So we don't risk running into it because we can't see very well with the camera at the moment. Zombies, I'm waiting on you. This might not be the best strategy. I think it is one of the safer ones, though. All right, I'm getting a little too impatient. Okay, are you actually a threat? No, you're not because he won't aim at you. You're just going to walk through me. Are there any threatening zombies in here? Man, that, that's, that like squeak is so high-pitched. And it's so loud compared to the rest of the track. Okay. Just always catches me off guard. Anything else of interest here? This looks like some silhouettes. We've got some bullets, but otherwise, I think... I don't think there's anything else in here. So next up would be the hall, correct? The lock is jammed. Oh, uh, what? So how am I supposed to get in there? If neither door... <gasps> Alright, well, maybe I can I can at least unlock this door? Okay. Perfect. Alright, then... To the boiler room. Oh, it is so nice knowing that I can actually kill those things. Thank you again, Virgilus Gaming. <laughs> so, we've gone down another floor. And there's not a whole lot to explore here, but we must explore what we can. Anything under here? Nothing inside? Okay. Um, which room is this? This is not the boiler room. This is what's next to it. Storage. The lock is jammed. Okay. I'm waiting for one instance where it's like, the lock is jammed. We start to walk away and all of a sudden a zombie bursts out of the door and starts to chase after us. Ooh, did you... What is going on here? Okay. Can we look at this on the wall? No. Um, so we got a few valves to work with. A warning. A voltage. Notice. What does it say? Notice and probably some sort of warning. We've got a button. A big red button to press. There's a switch. Do you want to press it? Not yet. Anything else of interest in here? Doesn't look like it. it appears to be broken. Okay, so clearly I'm gonna have to mess around with these valves. The valve is tightly shut, can't move it. Don't know what it is for, better leave it alone. How about this one? The valve is tightly shut, can't move it, don't know what it is for, better leave it alone. How about this one? We're gonna we're gonna check all of them, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I gotta be gotta be thorough. Oh, can I not check this one though? No game. You're denying me the satisfaction of checking out the last one. Can I crouch? No, I can't sad. All right. Well, if we can't even adjust the valves Well, he could be saying I better not like adjust them because I don't have the right tool like that could be the implication But I think it is just a we need to press the button Let's uh, let's press the button see what happens. Nothing appears to happen. No, that's not what I wanted 
<laughs> um, darn. So, what do I have access to? I have the Golden Sun. I need to access the piano for the sake of having getting the silver something, right? So, once I get the silver something, I can go in the clock tower. I think that matters. Um, the only other thing I can think of is when we were at the clock tower, it said 10 o'clock. So, maybe that's like a hint that, oh, the the note that was associated with 10 o'clock, which was the alchemy lab and the gold hand, um, is, is what you can get right now. I bring the gold to the clock tower, and then after doing so, the time switches, and then whatever the time changes to, probably midnight, because I believe that was the, the piano one, um, then I can go get that item somehow, and then... I bring that to the clock tower, etc. do that, and then it changes to five o'clock, and then I can do the boiler thing. That's all I can think of right now because we've explored most of the things. Um, if, if that one hypothesis I just kind of threw out there isn't correct, I wouldn't really know what else to do. I could theoretically check out the roof, although the last time we tried it wasn't very fruitful. So I think, I think that's what I'll do. Um, we can leave here. For all we know, some sort of event might happen once we leave here, because we've explored everywhere else so far. But it doesn't seem to be the case. So let's go save again, just because I don't want to lose progress or anything like that. And, and then we can try it out. Oh, so it does say data one, data two. Okay, that's uh, that's actually really helpful. I wonder how many they allow you to go for. Probably, I don't know, three or so. Although I could theoretically use a second slot as well. But just, uh, just you know, YouTube recording things, wanting multiple files at different episode points for the sake of, what if this video corrupts? Or what if it's not actually recording? Or, you know, the, the like. Um, okay. So let's let's head to this clock tower thing in the corner and see if it accepts our gold. A golden sun. Oh, am I going to have to go in my menu, find the golden thing and click use? I am. A picture of a clock tower is engraved on the surface found in the chemistry lab. Okay, so we use it. A golden sun. Okay. Um, alright, well, we might as well kill this. It was encroaching on our space. I don't think the other ones noticed us just yet. The tower door is locked. What does the clock say now, though? The hands are stopped at midnight. Okay, so I do think the my, my hypothesis was on point. Let's see here. I'm gonna check my handy-dandy uh, phone and see which one was 12 o'clock. A place with songs and sound, a silver guidepost is untapped in lost tongues. Awakening at the ordained order. All right, so I think the next thing we're gonna wanna do is check out the the tower, right? There's obviously another one of the zombie guys chilling around here, but I'm not too bothered to fight all of them at the moment. We can go through here and then on up. Did we take out the the zombies in this hallway? I don't remember. I'm curious about the roof. No, I guess we didn't. That's okay. Well, we'll take them out right now. Just because if we're going to be doing a little bit of running around the school... What? Seriously? I really thought that I was able to maintain enough distance. All right, Harry, we're going to change camera angles so we can get a better uh, prospective view of when we're actually in danger. Okay, so the music room should be on our right. Um, yeah, well, we'll take you guys out. One, two, three. Oh, we're split up. Wait, there are three of them. Why are there three of them? Okay, let's stomp one. Stomp, no, down. Good boy. Down. No, stomp! Oh, or I guess that fourth shot does it. Alright, I mean, whatever works. <laughs> so, we've still got 141 bullets. So I'm not 
I'm not too worried about ammo, regardless. Okay, so we've made it to the piano. Piano! Oh, and it looks like there's blood on the keyboard. There's some blood on some of the keys. Does this mean anything? Check the piano. Obviously, let's check the piano. Oh, I can move this around. Okay, so the ordained order. And it looks like the splotches of blood, this is actually really cool, are clearly pointing on a few different things, right? What was that sound? That makes it sound like it's the last one. How am I... I'm trying to figure out, is there something from that I'm supposed to visually see that, that tells me the order? Like, it looks like it's going almost like left to right. Or is it that they started here, and then went here, and then here? I don't know. Is there something else in the room? I mean, I'm pretty sure that that whole deal with the birds was supposed to tell me what's up. Uh, first flew the greedy pelican, eager for the reward, white wings flailing. And then came a silent dove flying beyond the pelican as far as he could. A raven flies in, flying higher than the dove, just to show that he can. A swan glides in to find a peaceful spot next to another bird. Finally, out comes a crow, coming quickly to a stop, yawning and then napping. Who will show the way? Who will be the key? Who will lead to the silver reward? So, all I can think of is that there's some place I should have noticed these different birds, and they would indicate some order to play the music, some picture of it all, or something like that. But, quite frankly, I don't remember... I don't remember ever seeing anything like that. Do you guys? In any of the classrooms, in any of the, the library? Does the library maybe have an important book that I can maybe get now? Hmm. It says a silver guidepost is lo is trapped in lost tongues or something with lost tongues. That makes me think of the library. Lost tongues, like old languages or some sort of code that needs to be deciphered. That's that's what that makes me think of. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm, you know, I don't know, grasping at straws at this point. But. I guess there's only one way to find out, right? Let's see. Any important books now? No useful books. No useful books. I feel like this is what I'm supposed to do. I feel like I would have some so more more direction here, though, you know? About, like, where this particular book might be. Would it be in a classroom? I doubt it. We can head to the library reserve. But again, I don't I don't think I'm just thinking, you know, on the guess that like there's a book that's going to tell us what to do. More so than there's a specific place coming to mind. Is it one of these? And it's not like any of the books are really standing out on the shelves. Darn. Hmm. Is there a secret passage or something like that? I don't know. Hmm. Is this relevant? Probably not. Yeah, I can't really... I can't really think of where else it would be. Um, maybe, just maybe, there are birds on the roof? I, th I think that's kind of what'll be my, my last guess before I turn to a guide or something like that. So I'm not just wandering around the school forever. These are the various chemistry rooms, right? There's like distilled water and stuff, but I don't think there was anything relevant or related to birds. Certainly wasn't in the boiler. Lock is jammed. Okay, so we can't do that. All right, then I think honestly... I don't know, I can't think of anything else. We can maybe search the various classrooms? 
Oh, that was the wrong one. Because maybe it's like hidden in one of the classrooms. You know, which... The whole stuff with the birds. Oh, we got more of these guys to deal with. No, uh, shoot the one that's close to you, Harry. Okay. Yeah, because, like, maybe there's something on the wall. I remember seeing, like, you know, drawings of some animals. <laughs> Giraffes, elephants came to mind. But, I don't know, maybe there was something I could only interact with now that I've been prompted on, like, going to the next part of the puzzle, right? But none of this looks like, you know, what I need to be worried about. I'll take a look at the next classroom. Again, this is one of those situations where it's like, okay, I, I think I understand the gist of the puzzle. I just am having a really difficult time locating where that next piece of it is. Let's see, who are you? And I don't know if I necessarily want to spend the time just running around aimlessly trying to find it, right? I hope you guys can understand that. Don't think it's like a slight of the game or anything like that. Because, yeah, I'm really not... I'm not seeing it. It certainly wasn't in any of the bathrooms. Um, the locker room, there was the cat. Nothing else though. It just kind of functioned as like a, like a scare of sorts, right? Like there's gotta be some indication, right? As to what, what keys I need to press. I would think they might give it in the room itself, but if they're trying to kind of extend the gameplay time or whatnot, they might actually, you know, push it out a little bit. However, given that we were able to find those keys beforehand, I think we would probably, if we were to get it right, hmm, if we were able to get it right, it would probably still unlock. I think what my current question is, how many keys are there to hit? It looks like one, two, three, four, five, right? So that where the cursor is now, now, here, here, and then here. If I really want to consider all the permutations of that, that's gonna be, we're gonna be talking about 120 different orders that I could press all of these in. So I don't think that's something I really want to go, go through. And again, I've got it on my phone, right? A tale of birds without a voice. First flew the greedy pelican, eager for the reward, white wings flailing. Is that, is that something like, is that supposed to indicate this one? Because it's like the, the whitest, the shining one, you know? Or is it, I don't know, right? Then came a silent dove flying beyond the pelican as far as he could. Is that like this one? You know, I don't know. A raven flies in, flying higher than the dove, just to show that he can. Is that this one? Like higher, like note wise? Or would that be this one, you know? Right? It, so, it sounds like it would be that one. So if we're gonna try this just once, I guess, it would be that. And then a swan glides in to find a peaceful spot next to another bird. Is that maybe like here? And then finally out comes a crow coming quickly to a stop, yawning and then napping. I don't know, am I supposed to try to correlate each of these birds with where these blood splatters are on the, the keyboard, on the keys. Hmm. I don't know. It looks like, let's see here. I wonder why some of them make that sound, whereas others don't. I don't know. Can I inspect, you know, like the piano, whether or not it's open or anything like that? Are these the birds I need to be interacting with or 
Any sort of hint? It's It's got to be related to this. It's got to be related to that whole bird thing, right? But I just don't know where I'm supposed to correlate it. Is it here? Is there something hidden behind here? In the corner, maybe? No? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe this will be something I look up before the next episode. <laughs> because I'm not really seeing... I, I would just be taking educated guesses. Not even educated guesses. Guesses with a slight hunch at this point. And I don't think that's what either you as you know, the viewer, myself as the player, or the game as the, the developer of whatever puzzle it is, intend for something like this. So... So I think we'll save that for in the next episode. I'll probably end up looking up at least where the next hint should be. Um, if anything. And, you know, worst case scenario, it's it's what the key combination is. And I acknowledge what I missed or something like that. And we move on with the game. It's been pretty cool exploring the school. I hope you guys have enjoyed uh, watching me do so. I hope you guys haven't been getting too frustrated with my incompetencies as I don't realize there are certain things I can do and thank you to those of you that are pointing out there are certain things I can do like L2 with the camera or X to stomp on some of these enemies to make them go away for good uh, so thanks thanks for understanding and if it, if it wasn't convincing enough that I'm playing this game blind those should be things that really uh, really you know pointed out but anyways I'll see you guys in the next episode but until then this is Moon Knight Zero and this mission is complete